Hello there, I am Gifty Auntie and welcome to TSB with Gifty Auntie. Who can deny Gifty? No. I don't think anyone sir. Thank you for having me. And you for As you know, when it's good, you play it twice. As I promised, we are back with part two of my conversation with Shamima Muslim Al Hassan. <laughs> you know, amazing woman. If you think you have heard or we've captured some of her untold stories, wait for this part two. The Shamima you never knew. The Shamima you've never heard of. My name is Gifty Auntie, welcome to TSP with me. I can't wait to settle down to give you the part two. But again, let me say thank you to Ayanski Fabric for my fabric, for my silk fabric, and then my outfit, Captain by Brie Radio Hair by Hair Center. Thank you so much to them. Thank you to um, Sigma by Maybelline. And then, of course, um, the glow bar for doing my makeup. Tweety Crafts gave me the bracelets, the beads, and I'm so grateful to them. Settle down when we come back. We are going to go into the other side. The politics, the media, the growing up, the hustle, and the way forward. The Shamima you never knew. We'll be back. Welcome back to TSP with Gifty Auntie. And yes, this is part two of my conversation with Shamima, a Muslim. Again, let me say thank you to our sponsors, Old Mutual Retirement Salary Plan. The new order of retirement is here. Now you can retire on your own terms with a guaranteed monthly income for the rest of your life. Yes, you can. Simply invest a lump sum into the Old Mutual Retirement salary plan today and start receiving monthly income to enjoy the perfect retirement that you deserve. Yes, it is that simple. The best part is you get to enjoy added benefits of an annual increase in salary or in the benefit that you get every single year, every year for the rest of your life. Call Old Mutual today on 050 Four five three four three 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 zero five zero four five three four triple three, or visit www.oldmutual.com. Or better still, you can simply dial star seven eight nine star zero one hash to request a call. Obrapa. Ahoto and Kwa. We are also sponsored by Telesel. You know the new order. Telesel. You get all the the benefit, the quality, the clarity. The data is the most reasonable network you can be on today. We are also grateful to Vena Mineral Water. Vena Mineral Water has a balanced pH level. It is low in sodium and has all the required minerals. They also believe in giving back to society by changing lives and you know, sharing love wherever they find themselves. And thank you to Kidsville. Kidsville, the weekend is almost over. Well, well, this week, make sure you visit them on the Spinters Road. That's the Kidsville Shopping Centre next to the Noble House on the Spinters Road. And you'll be amazed. Your child's dream will come alive. Shamima, is it time for us to go into politics? You and I should have been in politics like yesterday. <laughs> Makes sense. You and I should have been in politics like yesterday. Because, you know, after my last girl went to school, all of a sudden I had a lot of time. I said the excuses can no longer wash. Oh, mm -hmm. Because first, when I well, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm, I'm staying home and taking care of the children. Mm -hmm. Now all of them are in school. 
So what excuse do you have uh -huh. again? Okay. And, you know, we've done great work with Alma within a short space of yeah. time. And it was within that period. I remember one mentor of mine used you as an example of how women can re-engineer and create new pathways mm -hmm. of opportunities for themselves. Mm -hmm. And how even if you loved something like I said, I love the media, I wanted to go back. The, the advice was that think about something else you could do to contribute within the same space because space. obviously you love it yeah. and when you do something you love it doesn't look like um, yeah. uh, work it yeah. looks like you know a, a vocation yeah. and a passion and you're yeah. able to wake up every day you've yeah. been doing this 60 years that's 60 that's that's years. amazing yeah. that's, that's that's too much consistency yeah. is, is not small week Nobody. after week mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you know so the 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 fact of the matter is that we can't all remain in the sidelines in a pool um, called civil society mm. in a pool called feminists yes. and activists yes. and advocates. We can't remember, we cannot distinguish that pool from the actual space where the decisions are taken. Right. So we must actively be seeking to encouraging people within this pool into the decision making okay. spaces. Because every day you go and beg people. To mm. agree to your advocacy, yeah. to see reason why you're making these calls mm. for greater women representation. Two or four, uh, how many days ago there was this citizens' convention yeah. that happened? I moderated, okay, you yeah. know, the second day. Osei mm. Chairman Sabonsu was on that place, conceding that at the state we are going, we are not going to make parity with regards to women's participation in politics and that there are real consequences because at the international um, interparliamentary union ipu or something like that mm. they have said if countries are unable to at least secure 30 percent participation and representation of women in their parliaments by a certain period i think in the next decade or so they will be reduced to observer status Ooh. so we can't eat out. We, we are pretending. Shamima, are you ready? But there's ready? also a responsibility on our side. Shamima, are you okay. ready? Oh. For, are you ready for the politics? For, for, for going full-time into <laughs> politics. What does full-time mean? <laughs> I mean, coming out to say that uh, I'm um, into politics. Partisan politics. This is the... Because all of us can't stay... A, no, we a, all can't. Know, no. So to say that I'm here, I'm for... I'm already for example, doing we, this. we already yes. know that... You, you speak and everywhere, Professor mm. J. Nanopoku Ajiman is, mm. you are there. Not you, everywhere. Almost everywhere. <laughs> not, not everywhere. <laughs> not everywhere. You, you, I, I don't you have are a doing formal... serious advocacy for her. I don't have a formal role, just okay. by way of in, information. I just don't have any formal role. But it was to be understood that if I made a decision to join a political party with my history... My father is a founding member of the NDC. In Ayawa, so not people don't know that. Okay, he has uh, moved on and doesn't do politics, politics these days uh, for reasons. It's his own story to tell. tell right. Okay, but he is, and I told you that I can be member of NDC and MPP. And I'll be at home. Yeah, yes, my yes. uncle is your also uncle, a founding member of the NDP. My cousin, um, Hafi Sali, is. Was right. regional, your family, uh, are your regional. family related to the Gina Post? <laughs> no, they aren't, actually. <laughs> That's the weirdest That's of it all, because right. it's not like brothers, brothers That's going right. into, mm -hmm. into uh, her. But, I'm, I'm, you know, there's always been this expectation of women mm -hmm. to, to, to learn to stay their path. Because in this country, we, what, have, seen, we have seen male journalists yeah. who are... Open, who have open affiliations to political parties, have exactly. done um, their professional work to some extent, Stage. and have done their advocacy for their, their preferred political, yeah. to, to, to parties, an extent. Yeah. I don't know why women can't also venture into those kinds of things if right. the issues resonate with yeah. them. Yeah. And as a woman who has always advocated for women's representation, mm -hmm. it will be a mess if there's an opportunity for a woman to become a vice president of the country for me to say that no i will not come on board in fact maybe four years ago i would have been but i was encumbered i was still a nursing mother i was encumbered in so many ways so ndc has always been my home i have absolutely no qualms mm -hmm. about being a member of the ndc or supporting the campaign of um, um his excellency john dramani mahama as well as jane nana 
um, you know, Opoku Ajiman. You know, it's, it's, it's not personal. It's a decision I've had to take because I'm saying that what next in my life? Right. And... And, really, and it's not just because your father is a founding oh, member. Oh, no. No. Because... It can be, he's no longer uh, he's mm -hmm. out of politics these yeah. days. It can't be. And it's also not because people say, is it because um, a woman has come on board that you ask? It cannot be. You, we can, you cannot make Because you decisions. may have a woman who mm -hmm. doesn't even believe in... Yeah. So. In the course. So it cannot just be because the NDC brought a woman. Then all of a sudden, you say you want to do politics. There's a number of reasons... Yes. And and I call it the evolution of choice in in, in our life and in our and in you know um, in, in in the evolution of our lives we have made all kinds of decisions and choices and I tell young people that don't be burdened about if you if you have not decided to be an active political party member don't be burdened about that yeah. be burdened about the current issues. And take objective decisions based on the current issues. Seven years ago, if right. you thought that NDC was undeserving of another renewed mandate as a result of A, B, C, and D, and you voted for MPP, don't be bound by that decision. Be bound by what MPP is doing today. What did they promise you? And what are they doing today? And make your informed decision based on the fact that the people who promised you more than what they said the NDC was giving you are today doing worse. And make an objective decision. Don't be bound unless and until you are ready to be bound. Yeah, my sister this, is a politician. This, 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 this is, is a platform. This, this, you know, <laughs> but, but it is. Because a lot of times we, are, we, we try to you know, fix ourselves into boxes that yes. we shouldn't fix ourselves into until we are ready to be in those boxes. Right. Until our life situation, our life stories, our own experiences grow us into, into those boxes. And my philosophy in the media has always been, if you are a government in office, you have more questions to, to answer, answer than, than an the opposition. opposition. Especially if you have done three, four, five, six years. What question can I ask your opposition member? Other than you now, when you're also in power, is it not what you did? So you, what are you coming to do differently? Beyond that, and their own internal crisis, every other question is about you because you're the one now, um, you know, managing the public purpose. Right. So I, when you find yourself a tax to do, do it to the best of your ability. So when are you leaving for the campaigns? Oh, as and when I am, you know, invited to join. I'm this, already, I'm, I'm, I'm already. As and when I, I, I which, don't get it to. What, we, because now you are, you know, we are fully on. So when, yeah. there's, when there's work to be done, you will see me do the, the work that I have to mm. be done. Yeah. Yes. And then again, Whatever work is there to, to be to... done, I will be there doing it. This, the agenda is to get J, J and J. J and J. J and J. <laughs> John and J. John and J. John and J. J, J and, and, and we are part of it and without I'm, apology. And I, I like to ask people to be respectful of people's choices. Mm, like I exactly. said, you don't know people's, you know, past. And you Sometimes don't know, you may mm -hmm. you may even think that the person following you will vote for you. And then you, you've heard about the um, the the British, uh, mm -hmm. the UK issue. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've read it. Which one? Um, some, uh, a liberal Democrat. Mm -hmm you know, uh, following Corbyn, who is a, a Labour, okay. and then she's been forced to resign. Because of to that. To step down, yes. From her because, party. From her party, <laughs> you know. You know oh, according Lord. to the report, when mm -hmm. members of her party saw mm -hmm. her, she, she tried to hide behind Yay, her, her right. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, I mean, but but yes, I, I, I totally opinions. exactly. Yes, that's yes, why yes. I, I come back to us. That's why mm -hmm. I asked the earlier yes. question. Are you ready? Because you know, you the can politi never the be ready. The politics in this yes, country, the things that will be thrown at you. Definitely, it has it has started. I mean, mm -hmm. it started when I when people saw me on Nana Jane's platform. So, it started when I went to Upper West to support some trainings for the um, communication team. It started then, and you know, they don't know that me. I've been in student politics all my life. life. When I was in Legon, I was at Radio University. I walked myself to Radio University and sought employment. That's the beginning of my story. There's no time to go into that. Yes. I have always been my own advocate, you know, ensuring that whatever, if, that, if an opportunity exists and I can push myself. I walked at 19 years old to Radio University because Elijah Abubakar Siddiq had come during an orientation right. program and spoke to us about Radio University and volunteering. At which time, 19 years old, I'd sat in the house for two years after um, um, yeah. SSS. That was a time we had to sit in the house. 
you know, I, I didn't even think that I had any talent for radio. What and who pushed me to that place is only God who, who, who understands why he pushed me there. And I walked alone because my colleagues said they were all going to eat at a Kwafu Hall. And I said, oh, they should come with me. Nobody will come with me. This is me at level 100. You know, everybody wants to be working in pairs. Somehow I said, well, if you people won't come with me, I would walk and see where I am today because of that one single step I took. You know, but which uh, maybe it's destiny, maybe it's providence, but you know, it happened. And because of that radio universe thing, I forayed into student politics, which I didn't even think I had uh -huh. a capacity mm -hmm. for. Because once people started hearing me on, and I started almost immediately mm -hmm. at level 100. 100. No other level 100 was in radio universe in that first okay. year. They usually come in second, yeah. third year. Bernard, Avle, all of them, Moro, they're all my juniors. They all came in afterwards, okay? Because they heard me on that. I got invited. Michael Kwesa White and yeah. then Ken Gomado, yeah. they came to invite me to coordinate their elections for them in Walter Hall. I was in Walter Hall. That is how I came into student politics. So we won the election and I worked, I worked very closely with them. I was a member of their publicity committee. Within that second year, I became vice for SRC Women's Commission mm -hmm. under the leadership of Gladys Jansi, who I saw a couple of um, weeks ago after over two decades. And from there, I went to contest voter hall elections. And I lost. Gifty. On my posters, they will come, they, they put beard on it. It was around 2000. Uh, the, what do you call it? It's not 2000. 2011. When was the um, American 9-11? The 9-11? Yeah, 9-11, yeah. That, that year. Uh, yeah. They put Osama bin Shamima because my name was Shamima Muslim. Muslim. Somebody came to draw a beard on my face and put Osama bin Shamima, you know. And at that point, at that time, we had gone to organize some very misguided um, campaign. <laughs> yeah, because they said there was a, there was a high increasing spate of indecent dressing, Let's see. you know. So when, when you know better, you do better. Right. That's another principle of mine. Right. We're very... Um, you know, yeah. hot-headed young people. people. I remember Angela and said, Angela to, said, that it, it was anti okay. indecent. No, we said anti indecent dressing <laughs> on campus my <might> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and and we it was it not against our own constituency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. At that time, unfortunately, I was the vice welcome <laughs> and the the university Christian women's group yeah. wanted to organize it. Yeah. Came to women's commission to collaborate That's with us. Name. Paul Lambert, my budget publicity, no. And I made the organizing media, and the match became about me when it was not even about, about you. So when I was campaigning, I'll go to every hall. They tell you, you went to say that we are indecently dressed on campus. So I paid the price. <laughs> plus uh, Osama bin Shamima, I lost that election. So that was the first election I lost. You know. So, uh, and then later I became the local NUCS president. Precise, yeah. After a colleague also won his SRC, I became local NUCS president yeah. and yeah. Legon's external affairs officer. And of course, I represented Walter Hall in Senate and at the SRC meetings, NUCS congresses, the entire four years. So politics has always been it's a part of been. you. So my colleagues were you. surprised. Mutala, yeah. they are all my but, colleagues. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they are yeah. all my colleagues. Yeah. yeah. They were but, surprised I did. But I the didn't beautiful thing, sto uh, mm -hmm. thing about your story, mm -hmm. what I've picked up, you've always prioritized. Yes. Know what to do at what time. Yes. Peer pressure doesn't work well, on you. It doesn't seem to work mm -hmm. on you. You work at your own pace. That you have you have hit the nail on <laughs> yeah, your own pace. Peer yes. Pressure and, never mm -mm. works. Because on for you. a woman who was able yeah. to take how many years mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Her professional almost a radio TV, almost a decade, yeah. say, I'm staying at home yeah. to take care of my kids. I did. I did. And you know what that kind of sacrifice is? Yes, yes, yes. Completely, without apology, without regret. Well, let me say thank you to Yap Cleaning Services, who make sure our environment is clean. Thank you to Bigo Drinks, House of Food, Antivera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Al Cuisine. Thank you. God bless you. We are also grateful to Mrs. Soforipoko and the family. And of course, e-gardens, where you get all your natural e gardens. And there's something about that place. In fact, you must visit them and you get to know what I'm talking about. They call it the healing place. They are on social media, Heaven's Zen Gardens. You can find 
out more about them. And the, I mean, um, details are also on the program on TSP with Gifty Auntie. So reach out to them and get them natural plants, any plant you want. They will get it for you with beautiful pots as well. We'll be back. Well, let me say thank you once again to Ayanski Fabric for my fabric. My dress or my kaftan is by Brie Redra. Thank you so much, Brie. My hair by hair center, makeup, the glow bar, um, bracelets, of course, Twinny Crafts. Thank you so much. And makeup product from Sigma by Maybelline. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Then, and of course, our main sponsor, Old Mutual. Old Mutual Retirement Salary Plan. The new order of retirement is here. Now you can retire on your own terms with guaranteed monthly income for the rest of your life. Simply invest a lump sum into the Old Mutual Retirement Salary Plan today and start receiving monthly income to enjoy the perfect retirement. It's that easy. The best part is you get to enjoy added benefits of an annual increase pay every single year call old mutual on 050 453 4333 050 453 4333 or visit www.oldmutual.com or simply dial star 789 star 01 hash to request a call obrapa ahoto enqua also make sure you visit the uh, kidsville on the Spinters Road, near to a um, noble house. They have everything, children, from toys to clothes to what have you, and your child's dream will come alive, and that child in you will be revived. It's an exciting place to be, trust me. You must visit there. Again, thank you to Vernat Mineral Water. Vernat Mineral Water has a balanced pH level. It is low in sodium and has all the required minerals, and they also believe in giving back to society by changing lives and sharing love wherever they find themselves. My time is up, but oh, I wanted well. quickly, mm -hmm. what has the God factor, what role huh. has the God factor played in your journey so far? Okay. Everything, if you've not even scratched the surface I of know. how Providence yeah. has shown up, how in the midst of many, I still get called. Yeah. That story you mentioned about Obama. Yeah. You know, when I was in Legon, I applied to the U.S. Embassy and I was bounced. Okay, When I walked out, my dad was waiting for me. That was my third year. I was also wanting to go and do any work. I was bounced and my dad's first reply was, it's not yet, it's not yet time for you to go to, to the U.S. If it's time, it will, it will happen. And when it was time, it was just a call nominating me of all the media women and men they could nominate in ghana it was me it was kojo asante it was anas amiyao anas who would become the pioneers at that president obama um leadership initiative right. and there of over 145 young african leaders this man was randomly picking people i decided to use my left hand to raise to see if i can catch his attention he took seven questions I was one of the seven questions that he selected, Gifty. Everybody wanted to ask Obama a question. Of course. And guess what? When we're done, as a result of the question I asked, which became the lead question in all the media reports, I and another Ethiopian gentleman were nominated to represent the entire cohort in a, a NPR interview, mm -hmm. a national you know, public no, radio yes. interview, which is syndicated across many states of America. If it's not Providence, what is? I was lying in my house. We had eaten Sunday fufu. Elijah was there. I was laying on my tiled floor. When I got a, a call again from the American embassy that um, Kamala Harris's visit, they have put down my name as one of the people, possible people to speak. And because there's, it was just a notification, they sent the names out. They're waiting for confirmation. A day later, they called me. I was on. This is me who is not on any yeah. present media yeah. face. Yeah. I'm not on any media platform. I'm doing my something small in my something corner. So the hand of God has always been evident in my life. Wow. I cannot go anywhere and say that it has been by my might. It can't be possible by my mind. I'll be home. I say, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. And then 
you know, like in terms of activity, when there's inactivity, I say, oh, Charlie, I'll, I'll be there and I'll get calls to go. Why am I getting all this? I know this oh, moderation, moderate this, moderate that. Keep to you, you don't see me. Local program. No. no. Yeah. You don't see me promoting myself too much on no, social media. No. I don't like and taking that photos. That, that, was, <laughs> that, that was a pretty thing you were off for about a year. Yeah. And yet, I still get these calls. So sometimes I'll just want to test him. So I'll say that, yeah, Allah, if you know you have not forgotten me, show me a sign. He will show me that sign. I would get something to do. So that is why I know that whatever path I find myself, because I go back to him and I ask, if this is part of my destiny, make it easy mm. for me. Shalima. If it is not, then close that door for me. You, you, you are married to a man who is quite resourceful. He is. Um, well known, you know, by all standards, he's doing well. Why is it so important for you to earn your own money? You see, so that's the, that's, that's, that, that's the bigger, the other, thank you for asking that question. And it's, it's two answers to that question. So I tell people that I don't have to come and stick my head out to do anything because I am not hungry. I have a roof over my head. I don't pay bills. But this is not the story of many other women. Mm -hmm. So I am not obliged to. But you see, for every woman, it is important to have a certain level of your own end income. Because you can't possibly, you know, rely on your husband for all your needs, including external needs. People call you and ask you for things. People demand so much. There's so much you can, your own family, your siblings, your parents, you cannot sit back and fold your arms and be willing because you know, my husband, you know him. If I ask him for the money, once you ask him, he will give you. That one, I cannot lie about it. But I don't, I am also the kind of person who can't ask for everything. And sometimes it's even a fight. Because you say, hey, you, you think that you are okay, you can do your things by yourself. But that is what it is. If I ask, I would get it. And I will not say anywhere that he's not because taking Because of your care. upbringing, is that how you were raised? It's partly... It's partly, and it's also partly my personality. You know me, I'm a binao. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm a Tuesday a board. Tuesday board. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I'm also small, stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm stubborn, Kakra, makes sense. See, you know. So I also, because I've also grown up giving, 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 it's sometimes difficult to be at the, the receiving end. So I always tell him that I want to do things to at least know that I have some amount of income that I can proudly say I earned this income because I was earning before I got married. I was earning, I was doing so many things before I got married. Okay. So in the period that I was at home, even doing nothing, I was not hungry, but I, I just didn't want to be in a situation where every day you're asking. So every woman requires that. And you don't even know what will happen. You see, if any, if an emergency happens, touch wood, you have to have a setting fallback before things materialize because if you need cash today your husband is not around today what do you do do you see it so there are very practical reasons why every woman no matter how comfortable you think you are you need to ensure that you have immediate direct access to some funds just in case and for the little little things that you also want to do to feel like you're impacting people's life so so what why triggers your girl's trip my like what makes me you feel guilty sometimes so about 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 your 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 family about your children about your life you know that sometimes you feel you are sacrifice something for something i mean so, what triggers your guilt so n my number one guilt is that i am not doing as much as i think giving the platform the blessings and the opportunities I've had that I'm still not doing enough in terms of reaching out and impacting more lives directly. And it's also partly due to my commitment. You see, sometimes I'm tunnel-visioned. 
So I can't stretch myself in too many things. So when the children started coming, my entire focus was on them. Time was on them. Their teacher, whatever. It was just me and me alone throughout. So sometimes I, I'm also guilty. That's my number one guilt, that I'm not doing more, no, right. you know, for others than I should, given the platforms I have had. And then again, another guilt is that I am not, I feel I should be in a greater position to help others directly. Mm. Because I see, when people see you and they know you are very comfortable mm -hmm. and they ask you for major things and you're not able to give, I feel very bad about that. But is it, be is it because you can't or you, you are not in a position to give or you refuse Some to give? Some of the demands yeah. they make are not within my immediate, immediate purview. And especially if you go back to our hometown, husband is doing a lot for so many people a lot actually so sometimes i refer the burdens to him because of course oh, obviously he has more money than me <laughs> so that's one of it the other thing that also with regards to the children is thinking especially with what i want to do now knowing what the demands will be on my time, time. yeah i do feel and they, they've already started saying it, so that nowadays you are too busy. Because they were so used to coming home and seeing me at home every day. Yeah, yeah. So they can come a whole week and I'm not home. And they'll call me, where are you? Do you know, yeah, like yeah, they feel right. they have, yeah. you know, yeah. they, they, they should yeah. have me. Yeah. So they, they, they start saying, me so yes. said, you know, you can't do without uh -huh. me. You can't go without me. Uh -huh. yeah. They even wanted, the two girls wanted to follow me today. Uh -huh. I said, no, they should be home. So that also creates a number of, guilt and then being present in uh, I, I don't have a social life mm. you see i was telling you earlier on sometimes but you see it also especially, a creation, me, especially when my year groups and friends are doing stuff and i can't be a yes, part of it it does you get that too i get that and since it was also because of again the, the conservative nature of their upbringing so when i was growing up my father will not let you go anywhere. So I didn't want to be part of friendships which will require you to go somewhere and then you tell people, I can't come. Very few times, you see, and it, it, trans, it transitioned even through my SS into university and even on platforms. So sometimes on social platforms, I will not contribute certain into the conversation. conversation because maybe if they come and now say that let's go here yeah, i can't yeah and in the past decade of my reproductive period that's been outdoors where you won't see me will you have you seen me in those no. places you won't see me you won't see me you but know. you came when i get back you came home <laughs> to see me you were my big sister I had you to came home to see me and i never you forget you know, i wrote about it you know in yes. in, in my latest book mm. i wrote about it in the, uh, you know uh, black shallow water you came yes you came you came there you are came. a lot of expectations so, yeah. when you get so, married so, what you pushed you to set up the alliance for women in exactly in media you know, i was telling you that somebody uh, did tell me that Sometimes you have to do things um, within the freak. So here I was not doing any media work, speaking to a lot of my female colleagues, mm. and they were all talking about their frustrations. So at that time, I used to, when I meet them, especially those who had also married, those who had started having kids, and the challenges in coming back, the time demands. You know, when I had my second girl, I went back to work. Oh. Yeah. I went back to work. So I'll pump breast milk. And leave my house help with the, the grandmother. Largest mom was living with us at the time. And so when I had the, the girl, the, I will come back home and the boy has not even eaten. Because he won't eat. Yeah. So I'll come, I'll get home sometimes nine and I now have to feed him. So after the girl, after a few months, I, I just stopped because I was now overwhelmed. And it's, it's the reality. I, I was taking care of two sick women living with me. There's a weekend. My house was always full. I'll be on my feet, gifted from morning to evening, cooking, 
cooking and serving, cooking and serving. It was a very hectic period. In the first few years of my married life, it was not easy. You understood you know, what your mother went through. Went through. You see, and then I reflect back and, you know, my mom used to say that, hey, you think that you are working for me? All these things. Because sometimes I even wrote a letter one day that I don't think I am my mother's daughter. <laughs> I went home some time back and she was going through my old stuff and she saw the letter and gave it to me. Because this woman will make me work. I will work. I will clean. And my mom is like a perfectionist. So I'm like, no, I wrote letter because one day, you know, they will even be learning the Quran and in the I, in weekends when she was so busy running the um, Ahmadiyya vocational school, weekends she was no home. She was in meetings upon meetings when she was the president. I would organize for the laundry to be done. I would organize for lunch for all the children who are coming to learn in our house because even that's when we moved to adenta we had moved to adenta by that time so if she gets home and they had eaten the place is dirty she will complain why have you so my mom is also a very very strict woman very difficult to please i always tell her very very difficult because she's had a tough life it's another day to tell her story she used to cook to sell before she went to school she didn't live with her father in the beginning and when she went back home, her mother was not in the house. So she was like the servant for all the other wives in the house. So she's had a tough life. And, you know, women who have gone through that, that. nothing pleases them yeah. because they are like perfection. Yeah. So she saw, that yes, she, wrote, I, she saw that letter and she sent it to me. So today when I, that period, you know, people used to come because they said, oh, this girl, she doesn't know anything. She, all that she did was school, school, school. So people will troop our house to come and see whether she knows or she doesn't know. And they will see me in my kitchen, cooking, serving, fufu. I had surgeries. Did, I had you, did surgeries. you feel pressured to prove yourself? It's not even like you feel pressured. It's like your duty you had to perform. It's your duty. I am home. I'm used. To, you see, like it was not new to me to serve because I you come from a mother. house of service. You won't come to my mom's house and not eat. You will not go to my father's house. I said people used to. And during Ramadan, big, big pots of food and cocoa, when they finish, it's the young girls who will sit to wash them. I hated that time of the year. Hopefully you are not making my girls do to, it. Oh, they, are, they, they don't have to do it, but they have to learn to do some things for themselves exactly do you yeah. see it so it was to prove people because you could you had those memories mm. you had them and if you had them you want when they come they see it. you're not doing for them i didn't invite you to come to the house but when you come you will eat yeah. and i'll take very good care of you because that is how i was trained so me i don't even know how to cook small food if you tell me to cook one cup of rice it will end up being two cup of rice so there's always food in the house you will always find food in my home because that is how my mother trained us and and that's how my father also wanted his up to date in their old age my mother is still cooking large meals even though we protest you know my father is still bringing all kinds mm -hmm. of community people's problems mm -hmm. to our home our home is still like the hub for people's outdoor rings weddings all kinds of funerals even <laughs> funerals so when you come from that there, there will always be part yeah. of that that is that is in you right. and it's not a bad thing it's not a, it's bad, not a thing. bad thing and people now know yeah. to respect you and to give you your onions Oops. and your yeah. flowers right yeah right but it's been a hard journey yeah. till this point but for failing yeah for failing as really. well you you will not sacrifice it for for what so i asked myself what's for the what? old you know, because if you believe exactly. that, sometimes that if you believe that you are here, you are here for the reason of all the places God would have. We are women of all the places you could have located Locate. yourself. This is where yeah. you have been located. Is it not for a purpose? And you know, sis, like I was telling you, um, you know this man. <laughs> if you joke, he will deal with you. Mm -hmm. So I also know I have a protector. Yeah, I know yeah. I have a protector yeah. in He's him. Got so you. whatever yeah. path I decide. He's not somebody who doesn't understand the system. He understands the system fully. Yeah. So I'm not coming into this space from a naive perspective. Right. right. From a perspective that will require me to go to people seeking help. I don't yeah. have to deal with all of that. that. Right. So that's how blessed I feel. 
that if Amen. really this be part of my destiny, God has made it easy. Has he not? He has. He has. He has. And we thank God for the woman you've become. And becoming. And, and becoming. <laughs> and the woman you're becoming. Inshallah. And we can only wish you the best. Thank you, my sister. On this journey, you know, um, I am proud of us. You yes. know, I always tell you, you've just got something. Your human relations excellent Thank your you. your genuineness you yes. know just come through yes. you know speak when you don't like something mm -hmm. me i can sit somewhere inspire mm -hmm. you and i can see <laughs> <laughs> you know i can see it but when you are in you are in thank for you. it so wish you the best i thank you and too. should the ndc win when the ndc wins <laughs> should the ndc win when the ndc wins <laughs> I'll be looking out. You'll be advocating for women I'll, in the media. I'll be looking out to get sponsorship. Thank you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. We'll be looking out for you because you are working now. You and a lot of women yes. in the party. We mm. see you. We appreciate you. And we can only I mean, edge you. Some of us are new, you, newbies. So we, you know, we want to learn. You are not newbies. You've worked behind women. the scenes, sister. <laughs> You've worked behind the scenes. But circumstances yeah. didn't yeah. allow you to yes. come from. So yes. you're not coming in yes. as, you know. And I hope people mm -hmm. will be humble enough to learn. I yep. always tell you, I learn a lot from you. Mm. I learn Myself, a lot from you. You know. you know. So we know. all, you know, have each other. Yes. We show the I best. I thank you for the platform oh. as well. I thank mm -hmm. you for everything you continue to do for the course. Your dedication, your passion, and your sacrifice. Because anybody who comes close to you knows the death of the sacrifice. And I say, I always keep you my prayers. Thank may God continue to wipe your tears. Me. The tears will come, but may he wipe your tears. Mm -hmm. May he give you the strength and fortitude that he who has put you on the path that he has put you on would give you the strength Amen. to tread that path Amen. to its logical conclusion. Amen. Be blessed always. Amen. Thank you for Amen. your life. Thank you. And inspiring us. Plenty. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back with a bit of me. Growing up in Asasawa and... Um, because my mom was also a trader, a single mother that raised me, I also sometimes do trading with her. Mm. You go to the villages to sell, then we go to um, um, Akaten, you carry the things, you enter the, the river, the boats will be going, and then you'll be carrying it and you'll be selling it to the water. We enjoy doing You'll be that. selling it in the yes, boats? In the, in the water. In the water? Yeah, to them. Have you ever sat down? take stock of your life, your journey so far, and ask yourself, how did I get here? Mm -hmm. What happened uh, was that, um, it happens that I got interested in aviation when I chanced on uh, a calendar. Calendar? Yes. Boy. A calendar with air hostess. Okay. Yes, and then I said, okay, I want to be an air hostess. But when I was growing up, I didn't have the idea that I want to be an air hostess. Mm. But um, so, what was your childhood dream? I had to be a journalist. You wanted to be a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> One day I wasn't well. It was surprising to know that um, when we buried her, I think in December, exactly September, I gave birth to a girl. When we were going home, but my husband was driving. When my my Mother opened the gate and we entered. I see in a trance, then I could see a very tall gentleman, very, very tall, thick tall, holding my daughter. He was coming to meet her, so immediately I got up. I was scared though. The, 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 the following week when I went, they said I was pregnant. So I tell, I tell people that now I know that children are a gift. What's your favorite song in your moments of, you know, weakness and you know, brokenness and remembering of guilt, feeling guilty, you know. What, what is that song that comes to mind? Man, now I see, because when I'm worshiping, you see me crying. 
because a lot goes <laughs> yes, into yes, that yes, yes, yes. It's that season again. They call it a silly season. Yeah, anybody and everybody think they can say anything because some people dared to have a voice. Phrases and you know um, words that were already in the system. Now you use them because some political party has adopted it. It becomes. But guess what? People have a choice. They have a right. Especially women have a right to make the decision they want to. The parties they want to. The ideologies they want to support. They have a right. And I pray and hope that by the time the electoral period is over, we will still have people we call friends. We call sisters. We call family. We call loved ones. The things that are used to divide us are many, but they are very silly. You heard me right. They are very silly. They shouldn't. Because twins are even different in many ways. Twins disagree, but it doesn't break them. Of course, sometimes they are evil ones, so you know, they become enemies for them. But that is not the norm. That is not the natural course of things. This is a season that we need to stay strong. We need to be wise. We need to be emotionally intelligent. And we need to master our emotions. Measure. Think about the greater good. Think about the future. Think about the aftermath, not the present. As women, the things that divide us, the things that keep us down, the things that try to destroy us, the things that are try to, they, they try to use to break us, are many. Don't let politics be one of them. Don't let difference in ideas be one of them. It is a silly season, but remain sensible. I remain a woman with super crazy faith in God. I know God has got me covered, but I also know he's given wisdom. And when you're wise, you are sensible. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.